people have been always hunting for precious stones. Bright diamonds take over the mind and become the only purpose of life. They often become more important than friendships, love, and even relatives. So the three sisters, Helen, Emma, and Caroline, found a chest with real magical treasures. Let's see how they will cope with the greed. Oh, it's already started. It's the new California Gold Rush. No need to fight. They can all have the equal parts of the treasure. There will be enough magic for everyone. Welcome to the magical adventure, girls. Hmm. <laughs> what about building diamond beds? Caroline chooses the bottom bed. She's afraid of heights and colors that don't match her taste. Oops, it really hurt. She usually forgets one fact from her life when she hits her head. But this time it seems like she got something. Thank you, magic. Emma is really surprised by something in the mirror. Thanks to the magic, her tears finally make some sense. The wow. precious stones cheer her up, and she doesn't want to cry anymore. And they are also a great decoration for her bed. Helen's been spying on her sisters all this time. She wants to decorate her bed too. But she can't steal Emma's glue gun because of the modern security system. So that's how it works. She always takes everything without asking. It'll teach her a lesson. Nothing special, just a remote with a shutdown button. Helen freaked out and hired a servant. Now she can afford it. He will do all the work for her. The reward is worth it. His eyes sparkled like those blue diamonds. The servant made a craft for her and her eyes started to sparkle too. The sisters decided that he was proposing to Helen. The poor guy got scared by such pressure. He needs to talk to his mother first. The girls started a contest. They need to throw the ball and get as many points as possible. Helen almost got 10. Caroline hit right on the target on the first try. We have a candidate to win. Now it all depends on Emma. She knocked the sister's ball out of the game. How do you think? Who's the winner? Write in the comments. Caroline can't stop looking at her magical diamond. Helen hates her sister's good mood. She better look under her feet. A smile appeared on Helen's evil face. And Caroline made a nice backflip in the air. But her ruby is not like her. It broke into a thousand pieces. It's even better. The world has never seen such an expensive garland. Even Helen is shocked with Caroline's happiness. This is clearly not what she wanted. Helen will be very jealous. Emma is trying hard to learn magic. Now it looks like a children's birthday show. But she quickly develops her skills. If you want her to make a show at your party, write about it in the comments. Look what a cool garland she made from an ordinary scarf. Now her emerald bed shines even more. The sisters are impressed and your party will shine with diamonds. These expensive earrings turn into a pretty flower. Cool. Maybe the magic can do something with Helen's tool. She tried, but it didn't work out. But Emma turned this rag into a nice emerald tool. It fit perfectly into the emerald bed. Helen is freaking out. We need to calm her down with the magic jewelry. Ew, seems like she's okay now. Helen decided to measure her diamonds in carats and dollars. Hmm. It's kind of dark in the room. She let the cheerful rays of the sun in to play with her stones. Funny, they don't look like her sisters either. That means she loves them. Now she has the perfect chandelier for her bed. The sisters love it too. Caroline liked the Troom Troom trick video. And look what happened. The sisters tried to do the same, and their lives were changed forever. The diamond mood is guaranteed. You should try it too. Like this video and comment down below what changed for you. Has Helen just got a message? The cutest guy in college texted her. Congratulations.
A walk with hot dogs. What could be more romantic? A lot of things. But this is the first date in her life. She needs to hide the real Helen as much as possible. But the trouble is, Helen has something stuck in her teeth. The guy tried to gently show it to her. What a shame! It will torture her until the very wedding! Obviously not with this guy. She picked a diamond with a toothpick. The handsome guy liked this trick. Turns out he's the jeweler's son. And Emma has a boyfriend, but no one's ever seen him. The sisters suspect that she sends flowers and gifts to herself. If she had a boyfriend, she wouldn't have time for crafts. But they're actually amazing. Emerald mirror for the Emerald Queen. And the reflection is beautiful. Caroline is even a little jealous of her sister. She needs a mirror too. Oh, it's not nice to steal. Did she think Emma wouldn't notice it? Caroline denies everything. Let a fair fight decide who gets the mirror. But Emma has no time for a fight in her schedule. She could ruin her makeup this way. Even the emerald mirror can't show her perfection properly. Caroline is ironing today. Her favorite ironing mode is a diamond one. It's nice to feel rich even when you're doing chores. This ironing mode turns the ordinary clothes into precious ones. Oh, sorry sister, but it really suits you. Caroline is trying to figure out what's missing in her room. Well, of course, a table. And a cocktail for a rich lady. So cute! The dessert is a compliment. Caroline got really hungry. But suddenly she lost her appetite. The disgusting black hair is to blame. The girls got bored. They don't know what to do. They've already trolled everyone in TikTok comments. Emma has imagined herself becoming a prom queen ten times. What's next? Emma came up with a game. The prom cups and her fantasies gave her an idea. The sisters love contests. After all, there's always a winner and a loser in them. The rules are simple. You need to find your stone. Helen guesses first and loses. It's Caroline's turn. You can't hide anything from her. But Emma's moving the cup so fast. Maybe you remembered where which stone is? Give them a clue in the comments. Helen's makeup package arrived, but she's no place to put it. She's a very creative girl. For example, she loves painting. You could see her works in her parents' fridge if they invited you. Look at her shelf. Now every beauty thing will have its own place. Maybe this shelf takes up a lot of space and will disturb the sisters, but Helen doesn't care about it now. Emma loves live plants. She especially likes the ones with emeralds instead of fruit. Caroline saw her sister's trick and wants to repeat it. Maybe the magic will grow something for her too. But it looks like the magic is broken. Well, of course, she forgot to water the plant. Helen drank all the water while eating a spicy burrito. She will give it back. You just need to show her something very touching and her tears won't stop. She even cried a little more. But now Caroline will have a diamond flower. It's hard to imagine something better for the girls. Emma is obsessed with the Brawl Stars. She's trying very hard, but there's no result yet. The crystal from the game inspired her to make a new craft. All she needs is a shelf. Emma's kind of hungry. A croissant from a Parisian cafe picture is just in time. But the rude waiter wants her to pay the entire bill, and that's without a tip. It's so rude to ask the girl for money. Helen has such a crush on a famous rapper for three years, but her stupid sisters are mocking her feelings. This is so cruel, as if they didn't have a first love. Emma was crazy about Ronald McDonald, and he doesn't even exist. Helen's tears cost a lot. Her sisters feel guilty and bought their sister a ticket to see a Lil Uzi Vert concert. To be honest, 
Helen cried it by herself. The girls actually did a great makeover on their ordinary room. Each of the beds shows the owner's character and style. And they haven't finished it yet. There are literally a couple of finishing touches left. Helen is separating diamonds from dirt like a gem seeker. Wow, what a huge emerald is in Emma's hands. Her hands look so small, like she's a doll. Caroline is jealous of her sisters. She's always behind them. The girl decided to try Helen's method, but it didn't work. She was so upset her throat got dry. And what is this? Wow! The luck is smiling at her again. Helen thinks her bed is the clear favorite. But Emma doesn't think so. And Caroline wants a fair result. Write in the comments whose bed you liked more. The one you choose will win. It looks like the sisters are up to something else. A magic potion turned them into mermaids. So the adventure is just beginning. Emma and Helen were having a nice day. Fishing in the sun. All you need is skill and a little bit of luck. There's something on Emma's hook. Is it a sea monster? Emma's not going to let go of this rod. That's how she ended up in a secret underwater room. And she actually likes it. The mermaid finally feels like a real princess. Helen's not worried about her friend at all. Even though Emma just got swept deep under the sea. And she caught an unlimited credit card. First things first. Helen is going to eat something delicious. She even has a servant specifically to make sure she always has all the food and drinks she wants. Okay. This guy worked for Neptune before this. He's a pro. He'll make sure Helen has the best of the best. His hand has a built-in juicer. Here's your freshly squeezed OJ. But he let a seed get through. No big deal. There's only one, right? Or more? Nick learned his lesson. Helen invests in some real estate right away. Wow. Now let's what? make sure this looks good enough for her to live in. It better be gorgeous. Emma got Helen's old lamp. Rich people sure do throw a lot of trash into the ocean. Emma can turn this old lamp into something brand new, like jellyfish lights. But they're not really bright. She'll have to call an electrician and a hair and makeup artist. But now she can charge her phone. Helen's phone is always charged, so she can keep online shopping. Her friend is the one who handles the delivery. Helen would rather pay her to do it. Just not too much, or then Emma will be richer than her. Emma's getting too big for seashells. Are you feeling lucky, kid? Comment below and tell her which hand the money's in. Emma took Helen's seashells away. She collects them. She has a lot of beautiful ones. Plus, she can hear the ocean in them. Ah, oh, so relaxing. The seashells are practically like speakers. Emma loves sleeping with them on. That doesn't sound like the ocean. It's actually Helen complaining about the loud music. The shells are too strong. Or maybe Helen is too sensitive. Helen has a lot of time for self-care now. She was going to tan today, but where's the sun? This is what she hired Nick for. What? He'll have to negotiate okay. with the sun. That was a short talk. The sun went overboard. Nobody tells the sun what to do. Helen doesn't like it when people don't listen to her. Emma can't sleep. She needs something to do. She made a lighthouse shelf. Now she has somewhere to store her stuff. And she can help sailors. They're going the wrong way, but whatever. Now she can get some rest. Clearly, she can't afford sunscreen. Helen has a lot to do. She's cooking a special meal for her pet. And she's going all out. She wanted a seahorse, but it seemed daunting. 
So she got a scuba diver. He's not even that picky. Helen bought a designer dress on Amazon. But it's already falling apart. There's loose thread all over the seafloor. Emma found a pretty blue thread. And she has no idea it was part of her friend's dress. Meanwhile, Helen's dress is starting to vanish. Who's doing this? Emma made a planner out of the thread. What can you do? When Emma's on the phone with her boyfriend, she gets so clumsy. Oops, she spilled her drink. Good thing she has an anchor for drying her clothes. She just has to wait. If Helen gets hungry, she uses her credit card to order food online. She can afford anything. But she could also afford to have better manners. She's throwing her empty shells to Emma. Emma knows what's up. She loves seashells. She used them to decorate her mirror. Now her reflection is even prettier. Helen doesn't like that this wall is blank. When you have a magic credit card, you can easily buy an LED strip. That's way better. Emma is getting jealous of her friend. She wants cool selfies too. But she never learned how to fish. Stealing is bad, so she gets locked up for now. Helen wants to change up her hair. But she's a very difficult to please. This is a tough choice. I'll go with what I already have. Nick should try something new, though. Don't worry, you look gorgeous. These rude fishermen keep dropping hooks into Helen's house. She'll give them some seaweed, but that's it. Try going vegetarian. Hey, at least we got something. The water's broken. Underwater. What are we supposed to do? All Helen can do is call Nick so he'll fix it. He's gonna be in big trouble. He just has to make Helen happy. She'll have to wash this off using money. That always cheers her up. Now she even smells rich. But there's a coin stuck in her ear. Being rich is so hard. Emma wants to take a cool shower, too. Yay, she found a coin. And she fixed the shower. Is she scared of water? Helen can afford to eat at the Jellyfish Restaurant. It has a perfect five-star rating. Apparently, this is Neptune's go-to lunch spot. Helen loves it here. All Emma can do is hope someone drops something on the ground. But she'll compromise by getting a job here. It's hard and the boss is mean. But at least she can pretend she's rich by licking the plates. Not every mermaid is a great singer. And Helen proves that. Her singing makes submarines blow up. Jellyfish himself came to tell her to stop. She broke all the glasses in his restaurant. Helen can't admit that she's down deaf. Jellyfish had to run away to escape the racket. It doesn't bother Emma. She has headphones and Miley Cyrus. Thanks for the headphones. Hey, you should check out Miley Cyrus's music. Emma is going to have to find something else. Ugh, another hook in Helen's room. And one in Emma's. Be careful. The fisherman isn't strong enough to pull both mermaids out. Hey, will you comment below and tell us which one you'd let go? And which one you'd pull out of the water? Helen or Emma? It's all up to you. A real mermaid? No, Sky, don't get attached. Too late. The mermaid must have put a spell on her. Maybe she just wants a friend. The water is cold. Uh, mermaids are weird. 
Whoa. Sky will have to Dang. pretend she likes these clothes. Okay. Huh? A sea spider web. It's so what? dirty. Hmm. She should clean up. Nobody cleaned for so long that the broom is falling apart. And there's Ooh. no robot vacuum. What about mm -hmm. using a mermaid tail? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't fight it or Sky will tickle you. That's better. Now she can wash the floor. <laughs> Let's clear out all this mm -hmm. junk. What a mess! Whoa, what a huge seashell! What if I try listening to it? Oops, excuse me, Mr. Crab! This isn't a camping ground! Get out of here! The mermaid is back! It must be raining underwater! She's soaking wet! And shedding scales! The scales are so sparkly! Maybe Sky can turn this into jewelry and sell it! Use it to decorate her walls! She'd rather put up posters, wow. but she doesn't have any. <laughs> Don't dry out too much. You'll turn into shrimp chips. You shouldn't have set that on maximum. Here's hoping you can grow a new tail like a gecko. Yes. Sky found a puzzle. Ooh. Should we do it together? Wow. It'll be fun. This puzzle is weird, and it's missing a piece. Since we started, we should finish. Where's the mm. lost piece? Mm. Mermaids are so messy. But there's more treasure here than puzzle pieces. Sky can't see without her glasses. Can you comment below and tell her where the missing puzzle piece is? Uh, there it oh, is. Oh. Now the puzzle is done. Oh, it's a treasure map. So that's what the pirates were looking for. Meanwhile, our girls easily found the treasure of the Flying Dutchman. They thought it was just jewelry. The mermaid wow. wants to show her new friend some photos. So boring. These are her weird classmates. That's hilarious. Turns out the mermaid's name is Emma Undersea. Her crush gave Skye an interesting idea. A light that'll remind Emma of her crush. Just promise you won't kiss it. Styrofoam is worth more than gold down here. You have to be careful how you use it. Sky doesn't care. She's wasting it like crazy. Oh no, she broke it. Tape and gum are the strongest materials. And here's what she did with the styrofoam. This seashell needs a big pearl. And that's Whoa. Sky. The pearl <laughs> divers will be shocked. <sighs> Emma hmm. won't need her prom oh. dress. Sky needs a canopy, though. Now she's like an underwater princess, just waiting for her dolphin or scuba diver or hmm. surfer. Emma likes this idea. Why not decorate this throne mm -hmm. with colorful fish? They cut out a whole school. I hope they don't swim away. Even Neptune himself wow, would want a throne okay. like this. Okay. Sky wants hmm. to take another look around. Good idea. This installation doesn't seem like real art at all. Sky doesn't like modern art, but she can use these pieces to make something cool. She loved playing in a sandbox as a kid. Her classmates called her the mummy. She still likes it, but she doesn't want to get teased. So she'll disguise her sandbox as a table. So no one figures it wow. out. The table turned out so cool. Now her room is clean wow. and cute. Emma thought this was from Ikea. Mermaids are always in danger from fishermen. She got caught in another net. Good thing Sky is here. They could use this net, actually. It'll make a nice rug. Of course, Sky is changing everything. <laughs> Emma has oh, been wow. through a lot lately, so Whoa. she'd be down for a change mm. of pace. Modeling clay is perfect. She can make whatever she wants. And it's just fun to play with. They accidentally <laughs> made octopus tentacles. That's pretty cool. Wow. Why not make a whole one and hang it up by the door to scare guests away? Oh, the neighbor is here to complain about the noise or flooding. Oh, bad timing. He won't like this clay creation. Don't scream. What a drama queen. The mermaid is working on her self-esteem. Now Sky is getting self-conscious. She wants a mirror and makeup too. 
Emma, will you really not share? Hey! That's so rude! Mm. You should share with your friends. <sighs> now Sky can look at wow. herself too. This mirror is so small wow. and sad. Unlike oh. what's in the reflection. Mm. Should we throw these plates away? Or use them to decorate the mirror? That's a serious face. How will this turn out? Is that it? Wow. Isn't that too many octopuses? Let's not let the neighbor in here again, <laughs> or he'll have a triple wow. heart attack. Hmm. The ocean oh. is full of plastic bags. Sky is going to reuse it. This bag can turn into something way better. It's going to have an amazing life from now on. Just add accessories and magic. And seal it with an iron. And you get a cool rug. <laughs> Emma lost wow. an earring. Has Sky seen it? Um, it's part of the bag now. Nope, haven't seen it. People keep throwing trash in the ocean. Haven't you ever heard of protecting the environment? Emma needs to do something more constructive. Like turning these plastic bags wow. into jellyfish. Whoa. Emma turned her rage into something beautiful. Wow. <laughs> Someone came to bring Emma flowers. They're so expensive underwater. Maybe they're Whoa. actually for Sky or someone else. Emma made her own competition. Not every girl could admit that a plastic bag is prettier than her. But she deserves it. Emma just noticed something suspicious in the living room. Mm. A huge periscope. Huh? What's oh. in there? Mm. Emma can't make it out. Mm. Can Sky see what's up? Uh-oh. Mm. Are they stuck yes. in a bottle mm. of soda? That's crazy. Oh, a sticker got on the lens. Mm. The girls are getting hungry. <laughs> Underwater food is pretty weird. So Sky orders all her food online. Just a few clicks wow. later, her delivery swims over. They really do deliver anywhere. This guy delivers all the way to the bottom of the sea. How about giving him a big tip? Two seashells. That's impressive. Emma, you're so generous. Ah, I'm hungry. Oh, the sandwich is all wet. Emma doesn't mind. They are underwater after all. Yeah. Emma wants to take a nap. The waves are so relaxing. And she never has nightmares. Is it raining? Was it all a dream? Well, the mermaid, submarine, octopus, and jellyfish could have given it away. So where did this bracelet come from? It wasn't a dream. So where's Emma? Whoa. Monica and Emma were just chilling when Sky came to tell them a new aqua park is opening. Now they're so excited. They've been waiting for this since last summer. We need to pick out some outfits to impress that handsome lifeguard Jackson. They could seduce a snowman like this, but he's swimming too. These girls are nowhere near ready. What about our tickets? <laughs> what do you mean they're sold out? For the rest of the summer? Great, now we'll have to put off all our awesome plans for next year again. What if we make a water park right in our own living room? It's so cold that her teeth are chattering like a snare drum. Isn't she so hot that the water should just boil right away? Her friends will help out. Okay. Give us some heat, Sky. That's more like it. Wow. Who wants Emma soup? <laughs> Sky went a little overboard. The kettle is whistling. Hmm, I'd love some Earl Grey tea right now. <laughs> that little sprinkle of Emma makes it even sweeter. Sky likes it. What? Instagram is full of photos of people at the water park. If we post our living room pool, people would only laugh at us. Bummer. Everyone else is posting about their hot tropical vacations. Sky knows how to help. Using a toilet lid as a plane window? Her friends are cracking up. 
Monica can actually fix this. She's done this sort of thing before. Taking a picture in front of a drawing could work, but someone's already hating on them in the comments. Seriously? Why are people like this? Hmm? Monica doesn't like swimming. Her earrings keep trying to drown her. But she loves chilling on a pool chair. Although it's hard to find a free one. Sky got there first. Okay, fine. The paint's not dry yet. Oh, look! We have a zebra in the house! Emma is so messy. The whole pool is covered in chips. Can you not? But a floating table is perfect. It doesn't last long, though. Sky wants to make sure her friend gets healthy. You're welcome. The chips didn't stay locked up for long. Monica watches a lot of cop shows. She knows how to save everyone. That seems fair. Did you like our new video? Then be sure to like and subscribe! And we'll see you next time!